Okay, as usual, I do my reflections. Um, this game, ton of fun. I can't believe I played through it from start to finish. I mean, that was huge. We played from, I'm talking Central Time, 11 a.m. until 1.30 a.m. on Tuesday. Today we started at noon, so 12 my time. It is now 10.30 p.m., so that's just, a, I've never played games like that before. I did take off work specifically to do that, though. Um, so my view might be a little bit skewed because of that kind of situation that happened. I got a little burnt out last night. I'm sure you could hear it in the video, me just saying, okay, no, let's be done, I'm done. Give my Xbox a rest, because, well, the Xbox was getting pretty hot. It was crashing a lot. I don't know if it was my Xbox, because it really is only happening to me, or if it was the game and it just happened to target me because, I don't know, everyone else had a slightly better connection, since they do all live on East Coast and I'm here in Iowa. Okay, anyway, to the game. Extremely fun. I absolutely love the four-playerness. I wish there was a bit more diversity between the characters. They all had their innate things, like, uh, say, Phil was a little bit better with guns than I would be. I had a little bit more, like, 5% bonus damage buffs with blunt weapons. I wish there would have been more drastic changes, and I wish the skill trees would have had, like, more actual proper skills than just pure minor passive abilities. Don't get me wrong, I love that kind of stuff, but add just a little bit more. Like, uh, you can do different things while you're in rage. Because all Sam could do was just punch things. Which is okay, but when I actually remember to use it, I almost died every single time I tried. Um, of course, I can't get past the giant elephant in the room is that net code. Me getting kicked so many times just really put a damper on the fun on this game. Uh, Okay, now that I said that, I'll, I'll get off of that part. You guys saw enough of that. If you if you watched all of it, most I know some people only watched the beginning and ends. Um, there's not much else really for me to harp on. I mean, everything you saw, you saw. It, I guess I liked at the end that you had a boss. They could have done more bosses. I've always really enjoyed boss fights, as long as it's not like too redundant or too hard. Just like out of nowhere, have a big. I don't know, just like an abomination, just like that show up or something. That would be cool, I think. Just adds a bit more of a threat than just, oh, more zombies, oh, more zombies, oh, more zombies. Another thing I would have liked to see in this is, um, for the side quests, it sh you should be able to do it, even if you're online. That should just be having your map show you where that quest is. You should be able to go anywhere, no matter who you're with and what quest you're already doing. Uh, that's just a minor gripe. This game really was a blast. I highly recommend it. Get some friends. It's gonna be fun. We didn't really check to see if you could have the same character in the same game, but I highly doubt it. Uh, I really don't have much else to say on this, so thanks for watching. There's probably gonna be more games like that. Again, my channel is more horror-based, so the next co-op game is gonna be Operation Raccoon City. That's gonna be coming out in a couple months. No plans for that yet, but I'm going to push for them. We're going to see what we can do. I would like to do this again. Uh, also, another thing is maybe... No offense to uh, Justin. I love playing with the guy, but three people. That... Because it got to a point where you couldn't really hear each other. I was having to say things five, six times, and they would still not hear me because everybody's talking at once. And so with four people, it gets a bit hectic. I think three is a maximum amount before things really get too out of hand. And that's the same thing when I have people over here at my apartment when we play games all in the same room. When there's four or more of us, it's just non-stop talking. You can't really understand each other. I have to yell at someone else over the other conversation that's happening. And with three, you just don't have that. If two people are talking, the other person doesn't have anyone else to talk to. They just gotta listen until the other guy's finished. So, we'll see. Uh, thanks for watching again. Take it easy.